for Dr. Fauci. Thank you very much, Dr. Walensky. Uh, what I'd like to do over the next couple of minutes is provide you with the immunological basis that would support a third booster mRNA immunization. I will make four points and show you representative data from each of these. First, antibody levels decline over time. Second, higher levels of antibody are associated with higher levels of efficacy of the vaccine. Third, higher levels of antibody may be required to protect against the problematic Delta variant. And finally, a booster mRNA immunization increases antibody titers by at least tenfold and likely much more. Next slide. So let's take the first concept, that antibody levels decline over time, in this case, following two mRNA immunizations, and that's regardless of the variant. So if you look at the horizontal axis, at day 29 is when you get your second shot. You can see the level of antibodies go up at 43 days, but look what happens at 119 and 209 days. Regardless of the variant involved, the antibody levels <coughs> against those variants decline over time. Next slide. Next concept that higher levels of antibody are associated with higher levels of vaccine efficacy. This is often referred to as an immune correlate. And this is a paper recently published in a preprint server. And what it shows is that a model of vaccine efficacy, in this case, based on the Moderna phase three child, showed that four weeks after the second dose, that what you have is a serum neutralization titer of one to 100, which goes up from the vertical red line. That gives you an efficacy of 91%. But if you look at the dark black line going from left to right, as you go further up, you get a higher degree of efficacy. So the higher the neutralization titer, the higher degree of efficacy of the vaccine in this model. Next slide. Third issue, higher levels of antibody may be required to protect against Delta. And I'm showing you data now, both from Moderna on the left and a paper in the New England Journal has very similar data from Pfizer. So if you look at the left panel, what you're measuring is neutralization titer after two doses of the immunization. And the open circles are the same people as in the pink circles. And you're looking at the fact that the, immuniza the, the neutralization titer required to neutralize the standard prototype D614G, which was the original variant, is clearly the titer is much lower. As you see, it all goes down in pink when you're dealing with Delta. Next slide. The next concept, and that gets to the booster. The booster mRNA immunization increases antibody titers by at least tenfold. These are data from Moderna, but Pfizer has announced very similar data. The bottom line is, if you look first at the left panel, the first column is looking at the antibody, the antibody titers just before the third dose. And then 15 days after the third dose is shown right next to it that says D15. As you can see, a remarkable increase in titers against the 614G, the B1351, the P1, and in the Pfizer data, which you expect would be very, very similar to the Moderna, it was also against the Delta variant. So you get a dramatic increase in antibody titers when you do a third immunization dose. Last slide. And so in summary, the current immunological data that indicate that antibody levels decline over time, higher levels of antibody are associated with a higher level of efficacy, higher levels of antibody may be required to protect against Delta, and as I showed you on this, five, this former slide, a booster mRNA immunization 
increases antibody titers by multiple fold. All of this support the use of a third booster mRNA immunization to increase the overall level of protection. We'll go back to you now, Jeff. Thank you, uh, Drs. Murphy, Fauci, and Walensky.